So this man over here, he receives a 25-year sentence for attacking a Florida Uber driver. He didn't kill the driver. He attacked the driver. So this is obviously sending a powerful message. A 25-year uh, sentence is quite a lot. Uh, Gaines, Florida, press release from the United States Attorney's Office, Northern District of Florida, announces that John Quavius Davin Givens Moore, 21, of Miami, Florida, has been sentenced to 25 years in federal prison after he pled guilty to carjacking, brandishing a firearm in furtherance of a crime of violence and possessing a firearm as a convicted felon following his guilty plea on March the 8th, 2020. So I, I want to make you aware of something here. He is already a convicted felon and he's caught with a gun again, right? Probably that's what triggered the sentence. But this is a convicted felon and he is on the platform, right? He is on the Uber platform. That's who they allow in, convicted felons, right? Given Moore's prison term will be followed by five years of supervised release, uh, the carjacking and attack happened on August the 30th when he requested a ride using Uber. The driver picked him up and started driving towards his destination. The driver was proceeding on her route when Givens Moore asked her to pull up into an apartment complex off the designated route. He then pointed a Glock 40 caliber pistol on the driver's face while Givens Moore was holding up the gun to her face. He moved into the passenger seat. He then demanded she give him her vehicle if she wanted to live. Obviously, she's going to hand over the keys if she's smart. The driver pleaded with Givensmoor not to steal her vehicle. He then tried to push her out of the vehicle while hitting her in the head multiple times with his pistol. The, con the constant hits to her head caused her to almost lose consciousness and be seriously injured. Don't fight back, especially if it's a pistol. Leave. Right? Um... Givens Moore was successful in pushing out of the vehicle. He then fled the apartment complex in a vehicle, hitting other cars while doing so. Residents of the complex saw the attack and called emergency services to report what had happened and offer help to the woman. An officer from the Alachua County Sheriff's Office saw the vehicle exiting the scene. The officer then followed Givens Moore, who accelerated onto I-75 southbound. Multiple officers were dispatched to assist with the high-speed pursuit during which Givens Moore exceeded 110 miles an hour. Oh, he's, his penalties are just going up and up and up and up and up, right? Uh, while Givens Moore tried to take the I-75 McCanopy exit, he lost control over the shoulder of the next exit ramp. Um, they removed him. He was stuck in the vehicle. He removed, they removed him. After searching the vehicle, they found the loaded Glock. Uh, with an extended magazine, the horrific beating and armed carjacking perpetrated by this recently released felon is beyond the pale, and he is unquestionably deserving of the imposed sentence, the U.S. attorney said. Due to the valiant efforts of the county sheriff's office and the Federal Bureau of Invest Investigation, this violent felon has been held accountable for his continued criminal conduct and our community is safer as a result. There were supervisions resulting from the convictions at the time of his offense. Uh, the FBI cho uh, chose the case for federal prosecution and further investigated the circumstances of the case. The case was prosecuted by Assistant United States Attorney Chris Elsie. Givens Moore had two armed robbery convictions and an attempted robbery conviction in 2017. There were prior felony convictions, including grand thefts of automobile. Put him away. It's just trash. Complete trash, right? So, um, good. He's gone. Glad he's caught. Thank God the driver is safe. But I question again, Daryl Koshishawi, why is this man on your platform? Why are you not doing more about this? Uh, this is what's hurting Uber. I mean, Uber stock is in shambles. And this is what gets reported every single day. Your comments, please.